The useful life of an ion exchange resin, like the resin used in your home water softener, is strongly determined by the act of regeneration. This animation represents a single ion exchange resin bead and what happens during regeneration. A resin bead is a tiny gelatin-like ball with a diameter of about 30 thousandths of an inch, a little larger than the point on your ballpoint pen. The salt concentration of water is described as total dissolved solids or TDS. In service, the water surrounding the resin bead is low in TDS, and so is the salt content inside the resin. It is equally low. In the process of regeneration, there is a force that causes the resin bead to expand and to contract. This force is described as osmotic stress. Osmotic stress is created by the entropy between the high concentration of salt on one side of a semi-permeable membrane versus the low concentration of salt on the other side of that membrane. The gel-like surface of the resin bead acts as a semi-permeable membrane. Regeneration of your water software creates conditions found in the study of cellular medicine. Physicians look at various conditions of stress on a single cell. They use the following terminology when discussing the solution surrounding that cell. Hypotonic, having a lower TDS concentration outside of the cell than the fluid inside of the cell. This condition is the same as the start of the slow rinse step after high brine introduction step is completed. Isotonic. The fluid inside the cell has the same salt concentration as the solution surrounding the cell. This condition describes regeneration steps where the TDS is the same inside of the resin bead as the solution surrounding the resin. Hypertonic. Having a higher TDS concentration outside of the cell than that of the fluid inside of the cell. This condition describes the start of the brine draw step of the regeneration process. So during brine interdiction, the TDS is very high on the outside of the resin bead, while the inside of the bead, the TDS is low. The differential causes osmotic pressure inside of the bead as water flows out of the resin through the surface in an attempt to dilute the highly concentrated water around the resin. The bead actually shrinks as water is sucked out by this osmotic force. When the equilibrium is established, meaning the concentration of salt within the resin is the same as without, the bead springs back to its original size, about a 30 thousandth of an inch in diameter. The structure of the resin is made of strongly acidic sulfonated polystyrene held together by styrene crosslinkage. The elastic memory of the resin is stored in the styrene crosslinkage. Therefore, when the bead shrinks due to the water being pulled out by osmotic stress, stress is then placed on the crosslinkage. And when the equilibrium is established, the elastic memory of the styrene returns the bead back to its original size and shape. As the brine step continues, the concentration of salt in the resin becomes similar to the TDS outside of the resin. This is an, an isotonic state. Then the rinse step. As fresh water is introduced, the concentration of TDS on the outside of the resin becomes less and less. Once the TDS of the water outside the resin is less than the salt concentration inside the resin, the osmotic stress is created because high differential. This differential creates a condition that pulls water into the resin, causing the bead to swell. The styrene reacts, this time stretching and ballooning out to accommodate the flow of incoming water. As the rinse step continues, the water internal to the bead has a similar salt contents as the water outside of the bead, and the elastic memory of the styrene cross linkage pulls the resin back to its original size and shape. Then in the service mode, the resin bead remains the size and shape because the interior TDS of the water is similar to the exterior TDS outside of the resin bead as the water softener is removing total hardness. In summary, damage to the resin bead cross-linkage is done by osmotic pressure created inside the resin as the water containing various concentrations of TDS increases and decreases. The change in osmotic pressure in the resin causes the plastic gelatin ball to shrink and then to expand to its normal size, only to expand larger than its normal size, then shrink back again. This is how the process of regeneration stresses your softener resin, eventually requiring replacement of that resin.